Now, while I usually don't do these type of videos, I thought, why not? So let's get into my predictions for payback. So let's start off with the World Heavyweight Championship. So Seth freaking Rollins versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Now, while I would love for Shinsuke to take the World Heavyweight Championship off of Seth, I don't think it's gonna happen. I think Seth freaking Rollins is going to retain. And even more so, for some reason, I have a feeling, and I could be wrong, like I just wanna put that out there right now. I might be wrong for every <laughs> one of my predictions. And I'm okay with it. I'm okay with being wrong. I feel like someone from the Judgment Day is going to interfere in this match. I don't think Seth freaking Rollins can escape Judgment Day, whether it's Finn Balor or Senior Money in the Bank. Who knows, this might be the night that Damian Priest cashes in, I don't know. I know that Damian Priest is already occupied. He already has a match on the match card for payback. He's going to be a part of the still, what is it, still city street fight against the undisputed WWE tag team champions, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. So he's already a part of that whole situation. But that don't mean that this man won't come out again. Now we saw him in Money in the Bank come out, okay? So the Women's World Championship match, Rhea Ripley versus Raquel Rajikis. I said that horribly, but I have a strong feeling, one, that this match is gonna be bomb AF, and two, that Rhea Ripley is going to retain. I feel like this would be a good win, a big win to put under Rhea Ripley's belt because her reign, I've said this before on my channel, her reign ain't been all that. And this is finally a big, big as in a big woman, strong AF, as well as just like a strong competitor for Rhea Ripley to go up against finally someone that WWE is pruning, pruning. We need more. I've been saying this a bunch of times on Raw. We need, actually quite frankly, on Raw and on SmackDown, WWE needs to focus on building more competitors suitable to go up against these champions, especially on Raw with Rhea Ripley being the women's world champion. Like, I, like who is going to dethrone this woman? This steel cage match, Becky Lynch versus Trish Stratus. If Becky does not win this match, I'm quitting. I'm just quitting, I'm quitting. Becky is fed up, she is sick and tired of being sick and tired. And I do believe that payback is her night for Trish to get her comeuppance. Now, how Zoe Stark is going to play in this whole thing, I don't know. Yes, it is a steel cage match, but we have seen before people interfere in steel cage matches. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn versus The Judgment Day in a steel city street fight. I am thinking that our undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions are going to win this. They're gonna get the W in this. I mean, they should, considering Judgment Day has time and time again <laughs> terrorized these two men. Like, I don't know about you guys, but this whole feud with Kevin and Sammy and the Judgment Day has been just repeated, rinse and repeated on Monday Night Raw. It seems like every single week to the point where you're just like, can we get it? over already can we can we let it go right about yesterday so i feel like it's time for kevin owens and Sami Zayn to get they pay back and for a judgment day to finally get their comeuppance they need to get pistol whipped and freaked up in this steel city street fight so i say kevin owens and Sami Zayn are going to win i am I'm wondering if Cody Rhodes, because they're saying that Cody Rhodes is going to appear on the Grayson Waller Effect show at WWE Payback. Why are we having a show segment on a premium live event? Is this preparing 
Cody Rhodes versus Grayson Waller. I mean, that seems like the obvious thing. I don't know if that's the case, but I'm not gonna touch that. LA Knight versus The Miz. Oh, how I'm looking forward to this freaking match. If LA Knight does not win, I'm going to flip over a table. Hands down, I think LA Knight, I think Payback is LA Knight's night, 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 okay? The Miz is going to get effed up, but it's going to be a good match. That's what I believe. Now, it would be crazy town. You know me and my crazy ideas. It would be crazy town if The Miz hired someone, I don't know, Bronson Reed again or somebody else to come and interfere with the match to help Miz get the W. Now, I'm thinking they're not going to do this on payback. They wouldn't, they wouldn't do that to LA. They wouldn't disrespect him at a premium live event, right? That's what I'm assuming. So I'm, let's just go with what I'm assuming and say that LA Knight is going to win and no foolishness, funny business is going to happen. None of that's going to happen. All right, the United States Championship match. Rey Mysterio versus Austin Theory. A part of me feels like Austin Theory is going to get this belt back. And I don't like this feeling. I feel like this feeling is disrespecting my other feelings. My other feelings of Rey Mysterio retaining the United States Championship. So I, I'm, I'm confused. I am confusion. I don't know. This is one championship match on the premium live event that I'm not really sure about. Like, I don't know the direction of where WWE, I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing a vision of what WWE has for the United States Championship. I don't even freaking know. Let's just say this. I think that Rey Mysterio is going to retain the United States Championship. Now, the reason why I'm going to say that is because of what I've said before in my previous videos of how Rey Mysterio is being used to add prestige back to the United States Championship. Now, I'm not trying to be disrespectful to Austin Theory. Now, I'm not a big fan of him. And I haven't, I wasn't a fan of his United States Championship reign. Like that junk was booty hole, booty cheeks. Like I didn't like it. Like it brought down the value of the championship. So with that said, I feel like Rey Mysterio is going to retain because he needs to build that sucker back up for us to pass it on to somebody else. Let me know in the comments down below who your picks are. Thank you guys so much for watching and you guys will get a payback review from me to so look out for that. Signing off, bye.